the advantage of using self-determination theory in teaching and learning programs and activities is that it allows you to really guide the development of the program or the activity so that you design this activity in, um, in light of meeting the basic psychological needs of autonomy, competence, and relatedness. So instead of just thinking about using clickers, for example, or using a flip design or group work, you're really thinking about how can we meet the basic psychological needs of students in terms of their autonomy, competence, and relatedness while they're engaging in that group work and then connect this with the learning outcomes. The other advantage is that by connecting the theoretical principle to a particular activity and then the mechanism by which these principles will predict outcomes is that if we don't see the results that we're anticipating in the learning outcomes, we can then go back to those theoretical principle and examine whether it was a lack of autonomy or a lack of relatedness or a lack of competence which prevented the activity from actually fostering uh, the learning in the students.